So now we move on to a pair from Laurent Perrier. And they are Grand Sieck. I'll tell you the vintages in a minute. Uh, and the 2007 vintage, which is the current vintage, which is 50-50 Chardonnay and Pinot Noir in Magnum. Um, and we had a very, really interesting visit at Laurent Perrier, um, where uh, the winemaker Michel Fauconnet explained that th he was very, very keen to get as well as the, long, the, the Laurent Perrier <coughs> signature of refinement and elegance, um, wanted the vintage character in the wine too. Um, and I must say, when I tasted the, this 2007 vintage there, it very strongly reminded me of the, the, that sort of tightness of the, and, and, and elegance of the, the Grand Siècle that we tasted. We tasted quite a lot of Grand Siècles, which, as you know, are a, a blend of three different vintages chosen to express the kind of Grand Siècle paradigm, if you like, of wine that is ready to drink when it's released, is a blend of, of ingredients from three different complementary vintages, and um, is, it is actually so delicate that I posed the question, so which food do you drink with this wine? Um, and I was assured that there were various kind of particularly fish and white meat sort of things that went, went well with it. Um, I have a slight, I, I, I ended up, I mean, I've always admired um, Laurent Perrier. I did end up admiring it more than before from the, vin from the visit. And I think it's got a great team behind it. I do have a slight quibble with Grand Sieck because as a consumer, you don't know what's in it. They, you know, the whole ethos is, it's this blend of three vintages, but they don't tell you which they are. Um, I think, Nick, you asked, didn't you? And um, the answer is, um, of this particular one is a blend of 2002, 99, and 97. But there's no way for a, a, a consumer to know that. And it would work brilliantly if distribution systems around the world all worked brilliantly. And you knew that when you bought a bottle of Grand Siècle, it was the latest vintage and it was ready to drink, and you did drink it. Because it, it is released when they reckon it's ready to drink. They don't want you to, they want you to drink it within 18 months. But I don't believe that distribution systems are ideal. And you know, you do get bottles sitting in warehouses and, and restaurants sitting on, on lots that they've bought and things like that. And so personally, I think it is a little bit inconvenient for the modern information thirsty consumer that uh, you're left in the dark. You're just told, this is Grand Siècle, you will like it. And, and you should like it, it's a, it's a wonderful wine. But um, as a cons consumer advocate, I'm, I'm looking for a little bit more information. But that's my, my quibble over. Um, and clearly, there will be a great big difference between the age of the two wines that we're about to taste, one being 2007, 100%, 50-50 Chardonnay Pinot Noir, and one being this, this blend of uh, 02, 99, and 97 which I think was one of the few Grand Siecles we didn't taste when we were there uh, at the end of August. So they should, they should be in the same idiom of, of Laurent Perrier wine, but one um, older and, and more complex, having been made up of a blend of these three vintages. And we've had other uh, 07s before, so we might see uh, a relationship there. Uh, we had the Bollinger 07. So, we shall see. Thank you. <coughs> Let's see which is which. <laughs> <coughs> 
So Champagne 9. <coughs> So Champagne 9 is... Um, Most people thought was Grand Siec. Yeah. So 10 is, is vintage, is it? There we go. The question is, is it? Okay. So it's a, a very, very knowledgeable room here because... Wine number one, wine number nine was in fact the Grand Siec, and, and ten was the 07 in Magnum. But it was a difficult one, wasn't it? You were constantly kind of weighing up fre acidity versus complexity, and with the, with the Grand Siec not having as its stock in trade um, kind of maturity, really. It, it's a wine that's there to be to be fine and racy and, and all the qualities that you would have in a young wine. Uh, so I think brilliantly done for uh, the room having gone that way. Shall we see what people actually liked? So only just did they prefer the Grand Siec. So we are, um, you know, we're moving towards uh, a conclusion that that actually vintage wine can be a very good good value when we're looking at those relative scores um, even though people are uh, by and large getting identifying which which wine is which um, so I think this is really really interesting um, I'm I'm kind of feeling as though there's a general election going on here with this. <laughs> Let's hope the result is better. Than, oh well, I won't go there. Um, 